Walker, most charismatic and inspirational. Perseverance and most unforgettable award. Um, do I 
experience. I mean, it was real fun meeting new people. Something I never did before. Um, I worked at the Boys and Girls Club here in Barnwell, uh, where Miss Clara Thomas was my supervisor. She taught me a lot of things, and uh, I worked with a bunch of kids from like I think first grade up to eighth grade, and um, it was real fun. I noticed that some kids, everybody's kid is not the same, everybody is different, and I got to learn that too, and um, here with the training with everybody, it was real fun, we had different open discussions about, you know, communication and all that stuff, I like to thank Miss Cindy and everybody that, you know, came out to support us. As every parent probably would say, and which I've already heard, I am shocked. My, I am Connie Robinson, my daughter is Michaela Elmore, um, I've been trying to get her to put in numerous of job applications. And because she is bald, this partially my dad and my mom and a little bit of my fault. <laughs> I didn't really push her as hard as I should have. So she was very dependent on me. So when this opportunity came about, I was like, Michaela, I think it's something you should do. And she's like, I don't know, but I pushed her. She did it, and I think she enjoyed it. Um, she would call me sometimes. I work with Department of Health, so sometimes I used to be on the road in Charleston and, and Waterbury. She would call me, oh, it's time for me to get, oh, where you, where you at? It's time for me to go, or it's time for me to, how am I get there? She was eager to get there. And she would talk about how, you know, how she just enjoyed working with the kids because we have little kids in our family. She loved them to death, but she is not a little people's person. <laughs> and I was kind of very amazed at her when she told me that she was working at the Boys and Girls Club, and I know not, my, both of my children are members of the Boys and Girls Club. And so when I would go pick them up prior to this, I would see little kids in there. Ms. Thomas, I'd give my head off to her. And I was like, you sure? You're going to be able to do this. But she stuck it out. There were some days she was like, I don't know, Mama. But she stuck it out. I'm very proud of her. Um, this is her last year of school. She's a senior. She's a senior this year. I am so proud of her. She's made me proud. I'm me being a single parent. I thank God most of all that I've, you know, been able to to be a role model for her to know that you have to work because as someone said about the paycheck, now she sees what I've been talking about because all before Mama get, Mama get. Now she gets a little paycheck and she's like. I want that, but I'm going to wait until they will put that bag up. Or, no, I ain't, I'm not going to get that right now. So she's understanding responsibility a whole lot more than what it was before. And I do appreciate you, Ms. Cindy, because you really have this program, Mr. Wallace, Mr. Banks, this program really has really matured, made, made my daughter come to that responsible, mature level that I've been trying so hard to get to, to, to reach. Ms. Carter has been doing a fantastic job doing these, these last few months. I observed her, and these are a few things that impressed me about Ms. Carter. She always showed up on time, ready to work promptly. She utilized her time very well. She kept a very organized and neat work area. She put forth her best talent as every task that she was given. She is a great co-worker and young adult that will brighten and inspire in the workplace. I have enjoyed working with Ms. Carter. She has a great inspiration to the whole. She has enjoyed working with Ms. Carter, and she was a great inspiration to the whole <coughs> South Carolina Region House of Dark on Three. I look forward to sharing another great opportunity with another prospering young adult through the Boys and Girls Club of Southern Carolina. Thank you, Donna Knight. Um, congratulations on your graduation, Southern Carolina Boys and Girls Club. Shantara Mohammed, April 28, 2016. Wouldn't this whole world be better if the folks knew you to say, I know something is good about you and treat us just that way? Wouldn't it be fine and dandy if each hand clap found the truth carried with it this assurance? I know something good about you. Wouldn't life be a lot more happy if the good that's in us all was the only thing about us that folks bother to recall? Wouldn't life be a lot more happy if we praise the good we see? For there is such a lot of goodness in the worst of human beings. Wouldn't it be nice to practice?
that fine way of thinking too. You know something good about me. I know something good about you. And it's presented to the class, and hopefully I have enough of the parents, on this 28th day of April, 2016. Boys and Girls Club jumped on it. It was a teen up school center at that point in time. Then they jumped on the job readiness training program. Um, I just see the growth of this program. Sometimes you can take it to a certain level. I think that's what Miss Dennis did, and now Miss um, Bernard. Miss Bernard, Ms. Bernard um, is taking it to a higher, higher heights. Um, this is as I've been coming for the past three years. Um, for the three cycles. I spoke the last two, and this by far is the biggest cycle I've seen that came through so far. I am very impressed with what's going on with this program and the reason why I back so hard. Um, I'm just shocked because it was probably about five months ago you told me that you were trying to reach out to Bamboo. And I sent the information out to Bamboo and here so many Bamboo names and they're talking to a young lady sit beside me here that somebody from Allendale who could have went to the site of Fairfax wanted to come here to this site tells me just how powerful you all are. You are doing an excellent job. We'll continue to back you as best we can. Whatever you need, just let me know and just keep on. I just want to thank you again, truly. I don't know whether you know the history. Uh, we heard our speaker say it about vision. Well, we have a big, and who is we? The Big Seven Association. We're talking about 2006, 10 years ago. We started out on this journey to bring a boys and girls club to Barnwell County. And actually, we're supposed to go to Barnwell, the city of Barnwell. But then we started reaching out and we gathered other third committee members, and we got to be for Barnwell County. There was a a lot of hard work. Parent, you don't know the story. You see the good, but you don't see the hard work behind the scenes. And the reason why we are going with this, because there's a lot of work that your children and you are reaping that we in the background are doing. But we need all of you to come on board and help us. All right? We're celebrating our 50 year celebration. And for, I want to ask you a question before I go to further. Do you appreciate the program? Do you enjoy the program? Yes, sir.